Hello there, welcome to Genesis Models. My name is Bobby Walden, and what we're going to do is give you an inbox review of the A10 Thunderbolt 1 in 30 second scale um, by Trumpeter. And I've had to change the angle of the camera and everything because this box is huge as you can probably uh, see so let's actually have a look at what's in the kit so I'm just gonna have to rotate the camera a bit sorry because I mean as I say the box is massive um, so just to start off with what do we get in the instructions the instructions are a bit on the small side but we'll quickly flick through um, uh, the first thing you'll notice is, interestingly, the tub actually goes into another tub, um, which I've never seen that before, but cool. Um, but it is pretty straightforward from what I can see. We do have loads of options to um, get the cannon assembly going, so you can really go for some nice kind of detail here and everything. Um, so that's nice. Flaps, slats, you know, they do go up and down. You can have ladders um, open and just keep moving along as you can see lots of options for the slats as I've already mentioned um, the engine I mean we can have the engine kind of on display as well which you know is really nice so you can really have this looking like it's in some sort of deep maintenance uh, loads of pylons loads of different weapons and sensors and you've got your chalk here and everything um, and you got the, I think you got the TR something system as well as well, so you can have like these multi racks going on, which is cool. You also get a bit of a call out for what weapons configuration you can have, which is also a nice little note to help you along with deciding your weapons. Um, and then we've got um, our decal call outs, um, which. Um, look like you're going to get there nicely. Um, you've got two different um, schemes here. You've got like the lizard scheme and the plain grey scheme as well. And the decal callouts are on there. Um, so all in all, the instructions look like they're going to get you there. So let's start. Um, I've got some aftermarket parts for this. Let's start with getting out. Hold on, because this box is huge. Let's start by getting out some of the plastic. Okay. Um, I'm just going to start with the top, our fuselage section. Let's have a nice little close-up um, of this kit. Now, I want to be careful with this kit because it's not actually mine. Uh, Pete, um, aka uh, Provenance on the forum, one of our admins, you know, donated this to me just to do a nice review on it. So um, I want to be careful because I've got to give it in back. Um, but let's have a look, some close detail at the detail. So let's get in, right? And hopefully, as you can see, um, you've got some nice um, recess panel lines, nice rivets going on here. Um, does look really, really good, um, and I think that will really bring out the detail nicely. We do have a bit of a um, join line just here. It's um, it's like a bit of flash, and basically it's just so as, because um, with um, recessed panel lines, okay, what happens is when it goes around this 90 degree angle here, um, the recessed panel lines and riveting gets really kind of faint, and you have to end up rescribing it. But as you can probably tell with this one, um, the recessed panel line detail and everything is still nice to there because they've joined on a nice separate piece, piece there. But you end up with this kind of bit of flash that you've got to sort out. Uh, sorry about the ambulance going past. Um, you've also got as well um, raised rivets as well, which is really nice to kind of have the combination of raised rivets, recessed panel lines, recessed rivets. You know, really, really nice that is there. Um, so just moving along, we've got our big wing section here as well. So I'm just going to get carefully get this out for you as well because this is a nice big piece. Uh, so I'm zooming out a little bit, moving along. Again, um, nice bit of detail going on here. Um, as hopefully you can see, nice bit of detail going on. Little bits of flash I can just see here and there, just here as well, you know. Little bits of flash to kind of sort out, um, but they do look nice and they look nice both sides. Nice little um, grooves here to put your um, 
your pylons in as well so um, I think that might make it a bit neater and nice that but it's looking quite nice the plastic as well uh, is quite it's not shall we say uh, it's not soft um, it's not kind of really hard shall we say and you know the surface is really nice and smooth it's not rough um, I'm not seeing I've not been seeing any kind of um, um, kind of dips anywhere or any kind of nasty moldings so far so looking good um, let's kind of forego getting everything out of bags but here's like the engine section which um, I think I did read somewhere is a bit of a pain to fit but still it's looking quite good quite nice top quality and so are our wheels here these are looking quite nice as well um, there was something that goes here on the sprue don't know what it is but it has it, you can see that it has actually been cut off whatever it is and it's not this floating around at the back um, so that's that. Um, then we've got a bunch of uh, a bit more of the engine section here. No big deal. We've also got some weapons. Um, we've got some free fall bombs here, which, um, admittedly, the recessed panel line detail uh, isn't the same as like what you get um, on the rest of the kit. Um, they are a bit on the faint side. Um, not looking that crisp um, but a little bit of a rescribe and that would probably look really nice um, so that is the weapons well actually no sorry we've got loads loads more weapons here got some more bags as you can see a lot of plastic for your money um, we've got the rear section here same as the rest of the kit really um, just looks nice recessed panel lines nice pretty neat nice plastic um, can't go wrong um, more weapons more free fall bombs again same thing recess panel line isn't I don't think as good as the the kit it seems a little bit less crisp and a little bit faint but you know we can tidy them up sidewinders look good um, laser guided bombs look good we've got the triple ejection rack system as well so we can really you know load this up and you've got a load of weapons to go with it uh, we've got another bag here of more weapons we've got our mavericks they look really cool as well um, not seeing any nasty, nasty ejector pin marks with these weapons in any places our pylons as well they are all looking really nice and neat uh, nice detail going on with them um, so they look cool we do also have a nice little bag full of lovely um, bullets as well if you want to kind of show off all that um, cannon system where you've got all the bullets and all the detail that goes around that so I mean hopefully um, you might want to kind of jazz that up maybe a bit more um, shall we say um, scratch building just to kind of um, you know make it look a bit more better I mean it looks pretty good out of the box but if you want to show it off you know you might want to add some more um, and moving along just getting some more stuff out moving along we have some resin um, you can have your engine on display with this kit and we'll just get one of these end resin engines out for you to have a look at and it's a nice bit of resin um, detail and hopefully as you can see um, it does look nicely detailed we could add a bit more wiring on this but I mean and a bit of scratch building but um, you know I can just imagine this looking really nice with some buffable paints you know a bit of maybe oils dust and um, grease grime on this and it would look nice so it's a nice option to really with this kit really get a load of um, open panels and everything to really kind of get some detail going on this more to make it more than just your simple you know ready for takeoff kind of aircraft so uh, it's nice to have all them options um, then we've got some rubber tires okay some people don't like them I do um, they are nice um, we've got our seat completely by itself um, it is um, stirring plastic looks quite nicely detailed um, a nice bit of maybe photo etch would also be nice I think with that we've also got um, some metal um, 
landing gear as well which um, this does look nice we've also got pit up to metal we've also got a metal um, um, some ladders as well so um, nice extra little touch and I think you're probably going to need it because I think this kit is going to weigh um, a fair bit um, and we don't want our plastic landing gear sort of bending on us okay so nice bit of metal there to help us out with that um, what else have we got in here right got some more plastic as we go through right there what have we got okay we've got some detail bits going on here right first off we've got our tub now our tub is looking a little bland in fact it's very bland uh, to be honest hopefully as you can see the detail in here isn't that brilliant and then if we turn this over you will see that there is nothing here for our um, front instrument panel okay there is just nothing it is just blank um, some more ejection seats um, detail going on here not bad um, the pilot does actually look rather decent um, I think he would um, make a nice addition to the cockpit um, we do have raised um, some slats here which is kind of like raised detail I don't know if it's supposed to be raised on the actual aircraft but you might have to rescribe them I don't know don't hold me to that one um, moving along we've also got um, <clears throat> some more detail parts here as well which is like our um, wheel well doors and you know just stuff like that lots of little bits we've got our cannon end here which does look pretty okay but moving along we do have um, some nasty ejector pin marks on our wheel well doors which is going to be a bit of a pain to sort out uh, so that's a bit of a negative on the kit um, but apart from that it don't look too bad okay you know apart from those ejector pin marks um, that is pretty good and moving along some more we've got the rear of the actual aircraft the rear fuselage section and I don't want to keep getting everything out of bags but I mean it does look the same kind of nice detail and you've got the nice um, raised rivets as well um, to kind of set that off to um, then we've got all this um, let's just get it out for you um, it's, it's a means to have your engine all on show uh, which not exactly my cup of tea to go off and have um, you know a clear um, well clear panels um, it's just not my cup of tea I would rather kind of have panels open and have them painted rather than have them closed but have them clear so that you can see in, in there and see the engine um, no big deal um, at the end of the day it just means you have the option to do it if you want there's no reason why you can't spray over clear parts um, so no big deal don't worry about it but you know, as I say not exactly my cup of tea uh, moving along to the canopy okay what is our canopy section going to be like with this kit Okay, we've got what looks like um, the ends to our Maverick missiles. Okay, nice looking pretty good. Um, looks nice and clear. Moving along to our um, actual canopy section, we do have a little bit of a seam line just running down here. Um, no problem, polish that out, should be no problem at all. It is looking very shiny, um, however, we might have a little problem um, yeah we do I don't know if I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it um, can you actually see that can you see there's like a little bit of a spidering cobweb sort of thing looks like some sort of a micro crack let's just get this out of the way looks like a bit of a micro sort of crack going on I don't know can you see that um, well basically it's not actually a crack it's um, it's like a join line it's where um, the clear plastic is injected into these four little tabs and basically when the four different bits of plastic kind of well hot plastic kind of meets it kind of makes this join line um, which 
isn't very good because you just cannot get rid of that and sadly it is a little bit on the back as well I mean it's very faint you can't quite see it um, but that is a bit of a disappointment with this kit now whether this is a one-off or you know maybe one or two kits have this kind of join line on the canopy section or not I don't know or whether it is a very kind of common thing throughout the all the kits I don't know um, so I can't exactly say that if you went out and brought this kit that you're gonna get this kind of join line um, or not but this particular kit did uh, which is quite disappointing however I mean I have found that if you give your canopies a really damn good polish um, you can get away with um, it sort of um, shall we say it doesn't get rid of it it just helps make it look a bit better um, but you're never going to fully get rid of those kind of join lines with canopies sadly um, so let's just put this out the way for a second and I'll just get in some more bits hey, loads of stuff going on here now uh, decals decals do look nice I'll just get um, one out just to show you I mean they do look quite nicely in registry uh, nice colors um, they do look quite a bit glossy shall we say they do feel kind of like they're nice and thin how good they are I don't know because I'm not it doesn't really say who's um, printed them or anything like that uh, but hopefully they will be quite good and they do look um, quite nice as well um, however what we've got now is we've got a bunch of aftermarket parts for this um, actual kit because um, I think as you probably noticed the um the cockpit is quite bland and it does need a bit of an upgrade uh, and there's a few little areas as well that could do with a bit of a boost um, so it is kind of recommended with this kit to actually get something like um, an Eddard set in this case um, Pete's ordered in the Big Ed set and in the Big Ed set we do get um, a nice bit of photo etch you know um, not just one bit we get like all the bits you can get for it um, and just a quick rundown you know you get the um, the masks for the canopy just to help you out some remove before flight tags very nice if you want to get some of them um, we've got an interior set we've got an armament set and then we've got an exterior set um, what Pete's done is he's nicely printed off these big massive instructions to blow everything up so we can really have a good look um, at you know what you're getting with these big head set sets so starting off with some um, the interior right let's bring you in close on the interior all right hopefully as you can see um, we've got some nice detail going on here our instrument panel that you get with a kit is non-existent you know this is why we want these Eddard sets you've got some nice kind of dials going on here which you stick at the back of your um, your instrument panels uh, and then we've got all these little bits of detail which we'll, we'll look into in a bit so moving along as hopefully you can see with these big big instructions right um, you build up your front instrument panel all nicely together put in your little films and stuff for the dials um, you know behind your photo etch um, and you build that up quite nicely and as you can see here it isn't just a simple case of putting one big bit of photo etch down um, for your panels but you actually come along and put lots and lots of different panels to make up you know your big kind of panel section for um, your cockpit area so I mean that's gonna be a bit fiddly but hopefully well not hopefully but that will really kind of bring your cockpit alive your seat belts you know we've got lots of um, detail going on here you will have to sand out what's the seat belts that are on there but you know you replace them with a better set um, and just moving along you get like nice bits of detail going on your canopy section uh, and on top of the um, the cockpit just to jazz all that up and make it look nicer um, we also got our wheel wells as well nice bit of detail going on there so let's just bring out the exterior set for a second just to show you um, exterior set as you can see let's have a look right we've got a nice bit of exterior set hopefully as you can see looks nicely detailed 
Okay, and just another set on the back. Alright, so that's all nice. And as I say, you get to do all your wheel wells. Okay, um, your um, landing gear gets a nice jazz up of uh, all sorts of photo etch to really bring these alive. Okay, just bring you out, sorry. Um, and that's for all three bits of landing gear. And as I kind of said, you know, um, which is kind of cool. Um, the ejector pin marks that look pretty nasty on the wheel wells. Well, by getting um, the big head set, you actually get a nice plate that you can just slap over the top of those nasty ejector pin marks. Job done, sorted, better looking, nicer, great. Um, and I say more stuff going on here with the um, landing gear. Um, then we've got some exterior stuff, just putting on like. Um, um, what is it, the formation lights and all sorts of um, stuff going on here. Um, so that will nicely jazz everything up. We've then also got an armament set as well, which um, is just to jazz up all your exterior, where is it gone? All your weapons, right? Um, so let's just bring you in on the actual piece of photo etch. Right, hopefully as you can see we've got all our fins and everything going on here. Uh, then the other side yeah, lots of little tiny fiddly bits to throw on there. Um, and hopefully as you can see we get to jazz up our cannon end here so we can really make that look all nice, which should look really good actually. Um, sidewinders, 3-4 bombs, all sorts of sensors and stuff going on here. Really kind of just bringing everything nicely alive. As hopefully you can see from all these nice big instructions all right so hopefully I mean if you want to kind of look at these I mean you could probably pause the video so you can actually see them for longer um, and of course remove the four flight tags right then so this kit um, to be honest with you I'm not actually sure the exact price of the kit uh, but I think it was something around about 70 80 pounds ish um, the big head set, um, you know, to be honest with you, I don't know, but you know, they normally go for about maybe 30, 40 quid, maybe. Um, maybe I'll kind of drop a little something um, when editing to kind of like sh tell you the prices. But you know, we're talking something that's costing about the hundred pound mark. Uh, it is one in thirty second scale, big, big aircraft, a lot of plastic for your money. Um, but I think it is showing its age a little bit. So um, I think I'm definitely still, I'm going to say this is definitely a recommended kit because it is looking really nice, especially with the Eddard set. You kind of, the Eddard set does really kind of nicely jazz up the age of the kit a bit. So um, it is really going to turn into a really nice A10. I wouldn't mind doing it myself um, if I had the time. Um, but to be honest with you, I like one in 48 scale anyway. Um, so yes, this is definitely a recommended kit. Um, I hope you've enjoyed and I hope I've given you a nice good insight into this actual kit and kind of hopefully helps you decide whether or not you want to buy it. Um, so until next time, my name is Bobby Waldron and I hope you've enjoyed.